centre and terminal at the bottom of Main Street was just clearly the obvious choice for the January painting this year. It's operated by DP World, which is an international company. And the terminal forms such a major part of our day-to-day -day life on the downtown east side as one of our large backdrops. And I thought she would be a perfect subject for my five and a half by seven foot canvas that I chose for the January painting. The January painting is all about exploration. It's not results focused. It's the one time in the year where I don't make any commitments. I pretty much lock the studio door and I explore my subject, my medium, and my ideas. So part of the January painting this year was the idea of generating video content to support the painting as a story. It's the month where I push myself as a painter so that during the rest of the year when I get a little bit busy, I get a little bit overcommitted, I am able to fall back on the strong foundations which I built. I found the brushwork pretty tough this month uh, because of the size of the painting. I started off a little shaky. But as the painting developed, I started understanding how to use my brush on, on the larger scales, how to get those single brush strokes in there that would describe exactly what I wanted it to describe without fluffing too much. The centre and terminal is truly immense. She was quite daunting. Uh, she's constantly changing. The shipping traffic is coming and going. The gantries are moving up and down. The containers are moving. So although I did have that original image that I was working from, I spent most mornings down at the bottom of Main Street just watching and exploring so that I could understand her character, understand the structure, how she worked, so that when I was in the studio, I could really push working on those abstract qualities of the paint so that the painting itself would be delicious. There comes that moment in every painting when you need to start being a little bit brave. Uh, one of those moments is when you start removing paint from the surface. This is essential to a painting and I'm always looking for the opportunity to remove paint from the surface because it reveals something of the ghost and character that lies underneath and it starts a whole new conversation. But yeah, it's terrifying. Not doing it though tends to hinder the piece. If it's essential to moving forward, it, it needs to be done. DP World is a fascinating company. Uh, they're a company that has a very heavy focus on sustainability and on people. One of the things I really enjoyed finding out about them was that in India, in the community that surrounds their port in Cochin, I think it is, they actually provide free medical care to the local community as well as meals to the school children and career guidance. They developed the centre and terminal at the bottom of Main Street in 2006 and they're a company that are, is continuously developing and continuously investing in modern technologies not only to make their operations smoother but also to make the operations more sustainable. I'm thrilled, thrilled with the way the painting has worked out. She resonates, she vibrates. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that you know a painting is finished when she actually has the ability to grab hold of you and mesmerize you. Even though you were the artist who created it, she still is strong enough to hold and mesmerize you. And I find that this happens with this painting. The brushwork is intricate in areas, in other areas it's quite rough and butch and as a result she vibrates. The, there is a luminosity to her, it feels as though the light comes from within. Uh, it, it surprised me how comfortable I was working on such a large format and to be honest I, I can't wait for another opportunity to, to do this again.